and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. My beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Pisces, but I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like Pisces. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Pisces, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Pisces, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And Pisces, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to support my channel by giving me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I just really appreciate it when you guys do take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel. And then also let me know in the comments below, Pisces, what card resonates with you the most and how it does because um, that's just how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Uh, and then Pisces, before I get into this reading, I just want to like say this final thing of that I don't feel like tarot cards, tarot readings should be making choices in your life. I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings should be giving you perspective as something to, for you to consider, food for thought, right? As you go throughout your life. Uh, it's your life to live, not mine, not anybody else's, not these tarot cards even. So uh, keep that all in mind when you receive any of my tarot readings at least, that I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just giving you something to think about. So Pisces, with all that being said, <laughs> I'm laughing because of these cards I got in the, in the artwork of them, and I'll show you in a minute, obviously. Uh, with all that being said, my beautiful Pisces, let's get into your reading now. We're going to start with your animal oracle cards. We have the skunk spirit coming in here, number 54, equaling to nine. No, write that down for numerology, Pisces. <laughs> uh, but this card says, the skunk spirit says, know your worth. When we get into this, a little, we'll put a tab on this because this is a collective message, I feel. A uh, canary spirit saying, sing your own song, number 12, equaling to three. Uh, what is the word in math where it's like nine is a divisible of three or three is a divisible of nine? Where, where you can put the same number together and it equals like that number, right? When you can multiply a number by itself or on its... You get the point, Pisces. You know if you know. <laughs> this is a tarot reading channel, not a math channel. Uh, Canary Spirit, sing your own song with knowing your worth. And then Meerkat Spirit comes in saying, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. So in this dynamic, I can't help but feel like, Pisces, you need to put yourself in a more conducive uh, environment for your passions. For That's just more that feeds your soul rather than takes away your energy. I can't help but feel, Pisces, that there's some something in your environment or some type of situation, or maybe even person, hello, um, that is just draining your energy right now and has been taking a toll on you. I am being shown like the number two and I don't work in like long periods of times because I feel like that's just irrelevant and pointless. Um, so if I would say in like the last like two weeks, Pisces, this is what w would be what it's addressing, something that's happened in the past two weeks. Um, or maybe you've just taken notice of recently. If you've been just feeling like even just exhausted, maybe you don't even know what the issue is quite yet. You've just been feeling extremely uh, drained for like seemingly out of nowhere, Pisces. Maybe you've been feeling like you're a little bit... um depressed out of nowhere i just feel like there's like something <laughs> i just i keep saying out of nowhere because i keep on just getting this sense that it's just like out of the blue for you and it's like i'm seeing a pisces just like looking around being like what is going on here like i'm just wondering like the pisces just like wondering what it is that they're doing or what's like just in general they're just trying to find some sense of the world in the sense of like what's just again going on so very interesting. Uh, we do have the, how do we want to get into these other tarot cards though? Let's get into the renewal card, Archangel Jerome. This is a card of review and evaluate, a favorable assessments of facts and time to move into a new direction. So yes, I do feel like you're being pushed into, I mean, with this renewal card, it does imply of like starting anew and wiping the slate clean, moving on from people, closing out connections and things. So just, you know, moving environments, right? Some of you guys might, Pisces might be craving. I don't feel like you're moving. Um, 
Mm, we'll put a pin on that action. No, I feel like a lot of you more so is like you have the idea of it. I don't feel like there's action quite yet being taken of moving, but I do get the sense of moving because now I was saying this just because of the, I was eyeing the chariot card and this is why I was giggling from before Pisces because this is my newest tarot deck and <laughs> I've never seen this card before quite yet. So like when I saw the chariot was a magic carpet, I was just like, oh, okay. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> But with um, the chariot card coming in, I just do feel like there's like a, and it comes in under the moon as well. And the moon card is something being revealed to you, catching you off guard, usually. Um, I just like the illusions be fading away, uh, Pisces. I just get this sense that in this whole dynamic here, like there's just like this calling or this desire to shift from a situation to move on from a situation whether that's in a physical situation or whether it's in even a mindset i guess but i feel like it's more so like a physical environment thing for y'all um or moving on from people i just feel like there's some type of energy that's not serving you to your highest good and in fact this just takes away energy from you and is draining of you and i don't feel like it's intentional either if it's about a person i feel like they are it's just one of those people that just take a lot of energy out of you, you know? You know, it's like, I know, like, people like to use, like, the word um, psychic vampire and what have you, but, I mean, I don't really subscribe to that. I just like to see it as, like, some people, there are just some people in our lives, honey, that just, you know, I feel like we all have had that friend or that person, that family member in our life at some point, if not now, as we're speaking, um where they're just a lot to take in you know i always say like i there are some people you can only take very small doses and that's just because i like to see it as just because like just our energies in just that way right i personally don't mesh well with people who are very energetic and loud and like without like very high energy i'm super mellow so anytime i'm around people who are super high energy needing to talk needing to just constantly be doing something it's a lot for me but that just because it's draining for me doesn't mean that they're a psychic vampire because i'm feeling drained it just means that our energy like it's just not like we don't <laughs> vibe in that exact you know and i just feel like it's this sense of where you just need to surround yourself with more like-minded people like as the meerkat says uh be around people that are more part of your more of what am i trying to say pisces find more people be surround yourself with more people or in an environment that's just more your type of people um you know be around people that actually motivate you push you to go further rather than even be like a distraction perhaps pisces now let's continue on with this so five of water will do i have this burp coming in so i'm trying to like either suppress it or just have it come out quietly because i'm not trying to belch in the for reading for y'all pisces so if i do ahead of time i'm going to be honest i'm probably not going to edit it out so i'll apologize now <laughs> but this five of water this is a card saying i'll read it to you things not turning out the way that you'd hope not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilled milk pisces so this is definitely a situation and it's an environment I can't help but feel like you think fondly of if it's a person you do think fondly of them and there might be like even like a little bit of frustration being like just being like oh man why can't this work out in the way that you would like it to right you're kind of like frustrated and being like or maybe there's just like this frustration maybe even in your environment as of recently Pisces you've been noticing just some friction or some blockages happening and you're kind of being pushed to go into this new direction but you're kind of frustrated because it's just like you don't want to go in that new direction um you're not seeing the positive in that shift from it um and i feel like it's just more so not necessarily because of um i feel like it just is more so because it catches you so off guard and like wasn't in like your you weren't planning for this pisces so it's interesting when we get that and then it's almost like whatever comes to you that it's just like you know you're just like what is going on honey uh you have the seven of water seven of cups um in normal tarot this is a complex this i mean i'll read it again a complex decision the need to do research and to stop procrastinating pisces so you probably have been like i was just saying there probably has been some um resistance on your side pisces of wanting to go into or moving into this new direction because it's just like it's like 
so many things are probably happening at once for you. You're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like someone comes in and you just be like, okay, yeah, we need to do this. We need to take this out, put this in, whatever, whatever, whatever. They just go into your house and just list all these orders. And you're just like, hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. Let's just take a breather. You're going to be doing what now? Right? And I feel like that's what's going on for you, Pisces, where it's just like, what? Like, hold up. Before we make any more choices, honey, little, you know, you're just trying to catch your breath. You're just trying to, um, just get a bearing on all this and it's just like you don't if you haven't like yeah i don't know i just feel like it catches you so off guard and it's like because of the situation it's so much of um time is of the essence it feels uh or at least it feels like that for you i'm not saying time is of the essence right um you feel rushed right you feel rushed into needing to make a decision and because of it it's almost like you're like clamping down i'm seeing like a clam where it's just like they start like closing out shutting down a little bit because it's like they don't want to make a decision because it's just like you're just trying to catch your bearings and the more that you're pushed the more chaos the more stuff that's thrown at you the more someone's just like yeah we need to do this and this and this and you're just like slow down wait and they continue listing it just has you like it's you know you just start like you know you just start like reclusing you just like uh, you start shutting down um queen of earth make time for those around you take a sensible approach deal with challenges in a kind and understanding matter i feel like pisces like i'm trying to think of how to word this because i'm not trying to come off as dismissive um i feel like it's during this time period for you pisces that Part of the reason you might be feeling so overwhelmed in this situation is because you feel like you don't you don't have enough control or you feel like i don't know i just it's, i'm looking at this uh skunk spirit and the canary spirit coming in here knowing your worth and singing your own song it's almost just like you might be feeling like you're losing your identity almost pisces um in this situation but it, i don't feel like you are or you might be and that's why you're being pushed to go into a new environment almost pisces but i don't know i feel like the best thing you can do right now for your situation is just to be get into a support group get into people that can understand you um completely unrelated from your situation so you can get an unbiased opinion an unbiased perspective um interesting so we're going to put a closing on that, uh, Pisces, and now we're going to get into the spreads. We're going to be doing your first tarot spread uh, with my Pisces that are interested in hearing about their social and career situations, their financial situation, all that juice. Um, and then we're going to be doing a second row where we cover your social situations, Pisces. Now, when I say social situations, it can be your, it can be platonic, it can be romantic, it can be related to business. It just is this, like, if it's a person and you're socializing, and that's a social situation. And then we'll do a third row, Pisces, just covering just like final messages to close out the reading. So let's get into the, your social situation with the tarot cards, Pisces. I pulled for you the lover's card, the world card, as well as the hanged man. So this is a situation of, again, decisions, right? Decisions that are pretty big. I mean, the lovers already uh, implies like a pretty big life-changing decision. But when you have it with the world as well, it lets me know like how life-altering this decision will be in your life. And the hanged man is like committing to it. So Pisces, some of you guys might be debating on committing to like a job shift, right? Maybe you've had like a job offer in mind and you're just now this week deciding to be like, you know what, I'm going to take that offer because you think that um, that offer is going to bring forth uh, that sun for you, bring forth a new perspective that is more bountiful to you. Um, so let's pull some clarifiers on this. Let's see what's up with this. What deck do we want? I guess we'll use this one since I held it. Um, cards already came out. All right. Back of the deck energy, King of Swords. Think this through, Pisces. You probably already have, though. I feel like this, yeah, I don't feel like I need to chastise you or like give advice on this. I feel like you guys are the king of swords in this, where you have been putting a lot of thought into this, uh, really almost like taking the emotions out of it and just being like looking at it analytically. Because if you were to look at the emotions, you might have too much nostalgia attached to a situation or too much um, emotions attached to something that would like skew your decisions that you know would like yeah because with this two of pentacles came in for you you're weighing things out and it's just yeah all your you're getting all the indecisive cards actually pisces now that i'm thinking about it you're getting every single card possible that's talking about weighing the need to make a decision weighing things out and it's just like 
Pisces, you, it's like you just don't know where to go. And it's just like, again, because I can't help but feel like you're like starting to clam down. You're starting to shut down because you're feeling pressured. You're feeling you don't deal with stress. Well, I don't want to say you don't deal with stress well, but how you might deal with stress rather Pisces is by like reclusing, closing off, like becoming closed off um, from the outside world. And you just want to just take a moment to just freeze, right? Um, nine of nine of wands and kings of cups. So uh, there is this push, uh, Pisces, with this nine of wands. I always say the nine of wands is the card where someone's just like, I need, where someone acknowledges and tells everyone around them, being like, look, y'all, I have to take this part of this part of this this part of this journey here, honey. I have to take it by myself, and that's what's going on with you, Pisces. I feel like you have to take some part of the journey by yourself. Right, go out into go out and make new friends rather than bringing your old friends along with you. Because if you go into the nine of wands journey, you might find someone in your work life or some somewhere in this new situation in, at work um, that would really help fulfill, bring some more fulfillment in your life. King of Cups as well with that King of Swords. So yeah, I really do feel like the key for your work. Such, I mean, the key in general this week, Pisces, is just try to expose yourself to new people. I know that's kind of hard to do with the pandemic and all that right now, but I there is just like this constant implication that there's some type of new energy, um, new person, some type of new, yeah, new energy, new person, same tomato, tomato, um, that is waiting for you once you cross, make the decision in transition, if you do make that choice to transition, right? So let's now get into my Pisces social situation. Ah, uh, let's see here. No, these are the cards. We have two of pentacles following you again. We have the seven of wands and then the queen of pentacles. This is very familiar to, I forget which zodiac sign. I guess it doesn't matter because we're talking about you, Pisces. Um, but this is definitely like, again, more of a situation of like, it's kind of reminiscent of you, all these other spreads, Pisces, where it's just like weighing out decisions. Um, and then kind of making the choice and being like, hey, like, I'm, you're taking, like, you're going a little bit solo for a while, right? You're just like, it's like, you're seeing that these other, ener like, you're realizing some type of energy is just not conducive for you. And notice I'm not saying toxic. Notice I'm not saying um, negative or anything like that. Like, I just feel like it's one of those things. It's like, in a room filled with, like, extremely logical um science-based book smart or just like super logical people who don't have like a creative bone um in their body it sounds so aggressive it's like you are the only it's, you, it's like you're just in a room filled with people who just see in black and white and you only see in color you see all the colors um i feel like you need to surround yourself with other people that see all the colors rather than just seeing in black and white that's how I how I think it is. I don't feel like there's anything inherently negative or toxic. Like I feel like it's that is just such a word people will throw around in terror readings and just like criminalize people in this situation. But it's like that's just so dehumanizing, right, Pisces? Because it's just like not everyone's bad. And I feel like most like every. I mean, that's a side tangent. No one cares. No one's asking for that. <laughs> Let's pull some clarifiers, Pisces, before I get on my tangent. We have the King of Pentacles. You're getting all the kings. Is there a king that you haven't gotten yet? You got the King of Cups. Yeah, you, you just need the King of Wands at this point, and you have all the kings. Uh, King of Pentacles, Four of Wands, as well as the Five of Wands. So yeah, Five of Wands is it is the conflict card. Like you see these people squaring up with one another. <laughs> um, it is just like a conflict, a conflict of interest. This is just one of those things. This just energy is not meshing well. Uh, Four of Wands comes in with the King of Pentacles. I just do feel like your stability, your, you know, this is like the 11-11 card. This is the portal card. Notice there's a per person in there as well. I feel like, as I was saying before, Pisces, there's someone waiting for you at the doorway. You just need to walk through it. You just need to make a decision to go forward, and it brings forth a lot of stability in your life. Um, Pisces, like, this is such a... I love this because it just kind of proves my point even more um, with this social situation. It's in interesting how these cards bled into one another. But all right, Pisces, let's just close out this reading now for y'all. See what final thoughts we can get for you this week. Mm. We're not going to take all those. Let's see. Do one more, honey. All right. Three of Pentacles, the star card again. I say it again, but it's just because you got the 11-11 card. Um, with, 
brain fart. You had the 1111 card with the four of wands. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, Pisces. Um, so the death card. This is kind of summarizing what I was saying already before. It's through some type of transition, closing out old cycles with the death card. Um, brings forth new collaboration with this Three of Pentacles. This is the card of collaboration. Um, and that helps you attain your star moment. That helps you get closer to your star, your wish. It helps, it gets, brings you just closer to that. And I just feel, it's Pisces. Like, truly, it feels like there's some person that plays an extremely paramount role in your life that's trying to come in. I mean, maybe they're already in there and you're just like, and you just don't know them that well. I just don't, I don't feel like you have a lot of history with them, Pisces. Like, if you know them, it would be like you would consider them more of an acquaintance, like a friend, than a friend. Um, but yeah, there's some, there's some person, Pisces, that spirits really ho like honed in on this entire reading um, that's trying, like, that's relevant that you would run into once you make a choice and waiting for you at the doorway. So, um, Interesting. Very interesting, Pisces. Let me know how this reading pans out for you, Pisces. Uh, if I hope you did enjoy this reading. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, my beautiful Pisces. And then also share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. But until next time, my beautiful Pisces, I'll connect with you soon.